Hasan Avi's witness. I'm so tired of like paying 150 for a first date. And they Dude, Tate heads are like so pathetic too. But in a weird way, they like recognize how pathetic they are. You know what I mean? Like, bro, that is first skill issue, okay? L, skill issue, get better, okay? Number one. Number two, like, if this is, like, your biggest fucking problem, then God damn, brother, like, I mean, that's, like, I can't even imagine. Like, I just, oh, man, dating a girl is so hard. It's like, yeah, no, I, I, I get that. Like, yeah, it is. It's hard for everyone. Silly. You're being silly. Okay? He's like, oh, man, I'm so Business, dude. I got no, I got none of it. Okay. Zero. It's hard out here. It's crazy. Like, what the f is supposed to happen? If you look at it like it's a, if you look at it like it's a, it's a, a, a narrow list of checks that you have to like ch ch check off a box, like, yeah, you're going to always have a hard time. And then you just ghost me. I'm, and the next week, I'm like hurting for cash. I'm like, I could have really used that 150. Like, why did I? Again, thinking this dude has to work on himself. Okay. Thinking that, like, spending money on a first date is what is going to uh, solve your problems is a bad idea. That's why I always say, okay, you don't want to establish the relationship on a transactional nature, okay? Someone should want to go out with you because they want to spend time with you because they think you're interesting. They want to learn more about you. They should not want to go out with you because you're going to buy them shit, okay? Okay? whether it be drinks or food or anything. Now, obviously, play it by ear. But, like, on certain instances, you don't have to... First of all, $150 for a first date? That's crazy. Even in Joe Brandon's America. Okay? Google cheap date ideas. Put it into chat GPT. Okay? Do it. Here. Let's look. What is it? Chat GPT. I've never actually used it before. But here, let's try it. Oh, fuck. I have to log in with an open AI. Okay, someone Google chat GPT uh, that has it and go and write into chat GPT, you know, please, uh, it, can, you, can you give me cheap date ideas in New York City for someone who is uh, fucking however old you are? Okay? Put it in there. You'll get ideas there if you can't figure it out on your own. $150 is crazy. Also, no, it isn't, dude. $100 is the bare minimum at least, and she's going to look at you like a loser. You are not a good source for dating advice. You are a model. Man, you are so fucking silly, dude. I was not always this good looking, nor did I have money or clout. Shut the fuck up. I hate when motherfuckers say this shit. Dude, you're literally saying, la, 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 don't hear you, don't want to fucking hear you. Don't want to fucking hear you. I have to spend money. No, dumbass, you don't. You just have never even thought about it. If you set the footing, okay, as a fucking pay pig, if you set the footing as a goddamn pay pig, that's all you're going to stay, a pay pig. So keep oinking, 31-month subscriber. Okay? Stop. You literally are cucking yourself before you get to the fucking date. What are you, the Democratic Party? What are you doing? You already are operating on the expectations that you have to pay for a date. $100 minimum. No, I'm not talking about how, how much dinner dates cost, dumbass. You're missing the point. It should not have to be that. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is fucking free. Okay? It's free. Literally free. You don't have to. They say like, oh, it would be nice if you give uh, some money. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Go to a fucking park. I get pussy, my guy. I'm trying to help people that could be on the... that What? I'm trying to help people that could be on the cover of GQ. What? I'm losing it. Bro. Go on a bike ride or walk around the city. Exploring a new area on foot or by bike can be fun and an expensive way to spend time together. Have a DIY spa day. Do facial manicure at home and relax together. Volunteer together. Mirror organizations looking for volunteers. You can spend time together while helping others. Attend the free event in your city like a concert or comedy night. There it is. Fake pay to date women are after sugar daddy advice in that chatter. It's just stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid. It's fucking so stupid to just like start off on that footing like you're cucking yourself dude you should not 
be expected to pay for shit, okay? And you don't have to. You literally do not have to. I just gave you for free 99 a way to even find the ideas, okay? Not just like, I didn't just give you the idea. I taught you how to fucking catch the fish, okay? I didn't feed the man a fish. I taught you how to fucking fish right now. I gave you where to find an unlimited pool of free ideas on what to fucking do. Stop thinking that you have to pay. You are starting off on the wrong foot. Relationships should not start off transactional in nature. Who gives a fuck? If you're confident enough, you can let it ride. If the other party's expectation is that you have to pay for my fucking meal and you have to take me somewhere nice and expensive, then that's not a good person. That's not for you. If you're not the sugar daddy, if you don't have the finances, then why the fuck are you going after sugar babies? A good person, a good partner for you is going to say, oh my God, I would love to go on a date where we visit the Metropolitan Museum of Art. There you go. Literally, ChatGPT gave the same suggestion I did. How many times have I said, know your own worth don't talk to women that don't want to talk to you there are plenty of fish in the sea stop trying to get pity pussy okay talk to people that value your time if a girl doesn't respond to you stop fucking begging alpha male masculine pua advice guys will say oh you're putting the pussy on a pedestal you're putting the pussy on a pedestal no you just are insecure so you think that's the best you can do the best you can do is not someone who does not want to spend time with you, okay? The best you can do is someone who wants to spend time with you. If you have some self-worth, you will not go after women that don't want to be with you. Why are you pestering them? Why are you annoying them? Move the fuck on, okay? This is the type of advice I give all the goddamn time, but people just fucking forget about it. And again, don't think that you have to pay don't think like the only reason why someone would want to spend time with me is because i have money because you don't you're broke most of you are broke motherfuckers okay i'm not and i still don't do that shit that's crazy that's crazy i like i don't in my most financial secure financially secure moments i've never been like well the only way to fucking go on a date is by you know throwing out the fucking red carpet that's stupid that's so dumb there's a reason why I had the Toyota camera for the longest fucking time, which I still do, but my brother's using it right now. I use it as a filter for the most part, okay? Because in Los Angeles, there are a lot of people who are looking for a sugar daddy. That's fine. As long as it's a consensual relationship, that's great. But I'm not that. I'm not him, okay? If you have a problem with my crusty-ass Toyota Camry, then I guess, you know, it's not going to work out. If you're expecting a nice car, a fancy fucking car, well, then what are you doing? What are we doing here? Chad is missing the point that Guy's issue isn't that he was paying enough for the dinner. It's that he thought women were crazy for wanting him to be interesting. Yeah. That's what you do when you feel like you have nothing else. It's the saddest thing. Motherfucker living in New York City and pays $150 for food. Bro could literally go to anywhere that has a hairy Italian and it has a 65% chance of being good. A <laughs> 65% chance of being good. What? This guy, bro, he, he's hitting the ancient tomes. Amount of body fat men have to lose to be considered attractive, as in 1010, when compared to women, is crazy. I know thin people get an upper hand, but a guy to be hot has to be shaped. It is, the, it is pretty sad. Even Amaranth was talking about this earlier today. I believe she has a good perspective on the feminine side as well. Or are you going to say she has a biased perspective? Like, you literally went in, crafted a narrative, found supporting evidence from Amaranth, is this a copy pasta? Am I am I answering a copy pasta? Like this is a joke, right? Please. Nope, that's not a copy pasta. He added on to it. Bro, what's up with my 22 month subscribers? Like, oh my god, I have like two year plus subscribers out here being fucking behaving in crazy ways, dog. What is happening? Please, guys, you're embarrassing everybody. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I've led all these men astray. Wrong. I've always had gamer gut, and my current and ex girlfriends are all. Really fine. Way out of my league. <laughs> they just don't happen to go here. <laughs> Where is it? Your advice only works when you're attractive. Behave and pay for dinner. You ain't Brad Pitt. You're an average dude living in Florida. What? Huh? Copium.
Dudes will literally... Oh. Dudes will literally only fucking... Dudes will literally grab on to anything they can to say, no, it's not me, okay? It's not me. I can't change myself. It's not that I'm insecure, even though everything I'm fucking channeling through this anonymous uh, chat forum is that I am literally the most insecure man on the fucking fucking planet, okay? But it's not that insecurity that is like, r you know, riding me to my core. It's actually because I'm just not attractive. It's because of this. It's because of that. No, man. You are the problem. But it's not your fucking looks that's the problem. Okay? It's your lack of belief in yourself that you can change certain things. And it's your blind... Uh, it, it's your, your, your blind spot to just any kind of issue that you might have that you need to work on, okay? Holy fuck. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to fuck, you know, Margot Robbie. And if that's your expectation, I don't know what to tell you. Did you already comment on this? No, I did not comment on uh, this at all, but good for, good for uh, Eric Andre. Here's the three-minute ad break now. Great Scott. 1605, thank you for the five gifted subs. You're 100% correct, and I've been working to improve my style and lose weight, which has been improving my confidence. I know I have to work on myself, and that's okay. Luna Lux 9, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. This guy come back with anything? No, he just literally dropped this fucking incredible copy pasta in the chat. Mentioned Amaranth by name and just left, okay? He made his mark on this community and he left. He like peed everywhere like a dog and marked it and left, dude. Respect. Most women are as insecure about dating as everyone in this chat. Oh, 100%. And on top of the regular insecurities that men feel... Women also have additional insecurities in the form of physical insecurities, like vulnerabilities. You know what I mean? Will this person be fucking creepy? Will this person, like, try to, you know, sexually assault me? Will this person murder me? It's something that, like, is impossible for, for us to understand. It's just, if you're a guy, it's not going to be something that you can comprehend. You know, a lot of these girls, especially if you're really attractive, guys are hitting on them all day. So they feel like celebrities. Yeah, the the three. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that's that's manly. That's masculine. Is again chirping. Okay, an endlessly masculine concept is constantly fucking complaining about how like sexy ladies get hit on a lot by other dudes. So they have an inflated sense of self worth. We gotta bring them down a peg. That's what a man does. It's like no dumbass. Even in the own, even in your own construction of what it defines to be a fucking masculine person, you're a problem solver, okay? And if you're a fucking problem solver, then solve the problem. The problem is you, jackass. Not that like sexy ladies get hit on all the fucking time, so we gotta bring them down a peg. The problem is you. You're insecure, and you are entitled. On top of that, you think like all these. Women that maybe may or may not be currently because of your uh, inability to assess and inability to like, uh, you know, demonstrate your own self-worth are out of your league. They're not out of your league, but right now they are specifically because of those insecurities that are just fucking shackling you down. Okay. You and your inability to solve those issues, to, to self-reflect and solve those problems internally is what is stopping you from achieving success in this field? You are too you are too steady on that copium, okay? You're hitting the copium too hard. And a real man, by the rigid, defined structure that you uphold as what it means to be a real man, would not put up with that shit. They would assess, okay? It's like going... And trying to play basketball with motherfuckers who are like six foot eight, okay, in the NBA, and getting upset that they're just tall. Get better. Become a better shooter. Work your fucking ass off. You're not gonna get taller. That's not a terrible example at all. What do you mean? 
I mean, obviously, you're not going to make it to the NBA, but, like, you know what I mean. Pre-watch Piker nailed it. He's podcast pilled. Can't just be better. Can't just say be a better shit, man. No, man. You learn. You learn to work with your strengths, and you learn to avoid your weaknesses. Okay? Also, attractive women that get fucking hit on all the time unironically are not in like they're they don't have a sense of entitlement is the opposite they're getting hit on by people they don't want to fuck all day every day so they are literally constantly on the guard they have their guard up it's the exact opposite oh that chatter was joking about becoming a school shooter my bad i meant jump shots okay i meant three pointers you're gonna have 30 dms yeah. a day oh poor women yeah, I mean, it is. Yeah, it, it sucks. If you're constantly fucking fielding people that you're not interested in all the goddamn time, yes. And they're being weird as fuck, especially because most dudes demonstrably are rizless and don't know how to fucking navigate through the space and have a sense of entitlement. They end up, bec they end up coming across as toxic. And yeah, that creates uh, a, a sense of like additional insecurity, vulnerability, and, and a fear that, like, the next guy is going to be fucking weird and ruthless to you as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here.